Okay, today's video, all about posture. Why am I talking about posture today? I think big reason is we become very fixated on it. So in our modern world, we kind of, we, most of us understand that we are sat down for a lot of the, a lot of the day. And we become very fixated on the fact that because we're sat down, it's caused us to have this sort of small, static, seized up posture. Then people will experience pain. And then what happens, they might get assessed and they've been told your pelvis is out or your spine's a little bit kyphotic, so a little bit rounded, and that is causing your pain. So I think we've got to peel it back and look at the bigger picture. The first thing we've got to understand is that I would not correlate your pain to your posture directly. I would think about the overall context of your day and what you do in a 24 hour period. Do you move enough? Do you sleep enough? Do you manage stress enough? If you don't, you're more likely to get pain. And correlating your pain to one posture that you might be in for a few hours a day is not looking at the full picture, guys. So that's the first thing I want you to take away. Another thing I want to understand is that your posture you may have, and we've all got a posture, just because it's not perfect or totally symmetrical, again, it doesn't equal that my movement might be poor. So I might have a pelvis that's a bit out of line. I might have a slightly curved spine. It doesn't mean that I can't play sports effectively. It doesn't mean I can't move enough. But what we see is that people don't move enough. They don't have enough variety with their movement. This is what's causing the problem, guys. So what we get a lot of people to do when they come and see us is become less fixated on their posture and more focused on what they do on the day and how much they move. And not only how much they move, but how they actually physically move. So today's videos, I'm gonna show you some movements to help you to move better. Focus on your hips, focus on your spine, some big movements that can give you more variety. If you can do these, I wouldn't be as concerned that someone's told you that you might have an anterior pelvic tilt and it's causing you problems. Because if we look at the research, the two don't match up. You will not correlate an anterior pelvic tilt with back pain. The two don't match up no matter what you've been told. So I hope you enjoyed today's videos. It'll give you lots of good value of showing some good movements. And at the end, I'll do a quick summary um, to recap big, uh, the main points. So enjoy. Okay, so first practical video, we're going to think about working in what we call sagittal plane. Really posh way of me essentially saying sort of the forward and backwards motion that as human beings, we should be pretty efficient over. So as I said earlier, I'm taking you out of that kind of fixed mindset of this perfect posture. I'm talking more about movement. Kind of sort of lured you in today a little bit. So what we're going to do first of all, is get in a split stance, and about stretching forward. So everything in my whole body is just going to reach forward and get a nice stretch. If you want to imagine you're trying to pick an object, that's totally fine. The key I'm going to say is to be relaxed. Don't worry if you want to move more for your spine. Don't worry at the stage you want to move more for your knee or your ankle. In future videos, we're going to break down each body part and maybe look at kind of polishing different parts of your body off. But at this stage, improving that sort of posture, as we hear here a lot about, is going to be movement. So I'm going to come from here. As I come back, I'm going to really exaggerate that stretch back as well. See how much extension you can create. Ultimately, you're trying to use as much range as your body's got. So that's here, into there. If that feels comfortable, then we can start to maybe increase the range a little bit, or maybe increase the tempo. Okay, maybe sort of 10, 15 reps a size. If that feels good, just try to the other side. So the reason I'm doing side to side is, as I always say, I like to look at either side of the body. I like to sort of see how I feel stability-wise, how my clients are looking movement-wise. So it's there, reach forward again, and extend back. Forward reach, and extend back. And as I said earlier, I can speed it up a little bit if I want to. Exaggerate it, enjoy it, play about with it, and I'll show you the next exercise. Okay, next exercise then, frontal plane. So I'm looking at essentially that side to side motion, getting the outside of my hips and get my spine and my shoulder all to work. So I'm in what we call bilateral stance today. So I'm gonna think a lot about feet, roughly in line with hips. As I always say, don't stress about it. Don't have to be in this fixed position, just roughly there's fine. Nice and relaxed, hips nice and loose, knees, ankles, really relaxed. Nothing's, nothing's tense at all here. From here, in this case, I'm using my right arm. What I'm going to do, just stretch it over to one side. So at this stage, it might happen maybe to think maybe between two panes of glass, just to sort of encourage you not to sort of maybe compensate at this stage. Not that that's bad, but we tend to see a lot of people who lack movement going to the side, tend to stop it and just end up sort of folding forward and then sort of get into that position. So try and be aware of how your body's moving and literally just stretch to the side. So maybe eight to 10 reps, before I go over onto the other side. 
keep it nice and fluid. And like I said before, if you feel good, increase the range or increase the tempo. And I'll show you in the next exercise. Okay, the third one and last one today is I'm going to show you some rotational movements, what we call that transverse plane. But that's just a posture way of really going rotating. So a lot of time we get in posture, people have been very fixated about this position that I've talked about a lot today. But also bearing in mind that the body has got movement in what we call three dimensions. So it needs to move forward and back, side to side and rotate. So today what I've done, I've kind of broke those movements down for you. And in future videos, we'll show you ways to kind of link and all this stuff together. But for the time being, get some movement in these sort of three angles and you really get some benefit out of it, guys. So, next one, spit stance. I'm gonna start rotating. So since my arms are just gonna go from side to side, so a little like this. Okay, maybe it's 30 seconds of that, and then jump, jump onto, onto the other side. Again, like I always say, I do quite like to see what's happening with either side of the body, just because it challenges you a bit of stability. And one side might feel a bit more wobbly, uh, one side might feel a bit restricted, or you might be brilliant and be fine both sides, but it's good to have that variety of movement. So, again, I'm here. Twisting through. Now, it's fine to go slower than that, it's fine to go faster. As I always say, I encourage you to play about with it, get some benefit out of it, and I will show you future videos to show you how to increase these movements and develop it into, into bigger, more dynamic exercises. So I hope you really enjoyed the video today, guys. Give us some feedback, as I always say, and if there's anything you want to see from us or any questions, let us know, and we'll do our best to, to educate you and help you.